Today I'd just like to read for you one of my favourite descriptions of Abdul Baha, which particularly relates to his, uh, his, his composure in, in the, the, the face of the, the most unbelievable storms of uh, problems and difficulties. So this comes from a book called Memories of Nine Years in Akka by Yunus Khan. Yunus Khan was a, a person who, who spent nine years in Akka as, uh, assisting Abdul Baha. And uh, I just have to read it through to the end to, to reach the, the punchline about Abdul Baha's uh, disposition in the face of di great difficulties. So Yunus Khan wrote, However generously a person is endowed with willpower and faith, however abundantly he possesses the capacity to dominate circumstances, and however great his outward means of control and authority, yet once he confronts the onrushing flood of events and is faced with assorted and unexpected difficulties and predicaments, and if it also falls to him to shoulder grave and at times conflicting responsibilities while facing great odds in fulfilling them, he will perforce experience such feeling of apprehension and anxiety as to render the attainment of a composed and tranquil mind an impossibility. Such a condition may lead to occasions of overindulgence or conversely lack of effort, errors of judgment in the conduct of affairs, and at times an excess of harshness or severity in pursuing his goal. In the many years of my residence at the threshold of the Master's presence, I often wondered how and by what means was that blessed personage able to solve the manifold problems created by the raging storms of adversity and hardship? How was he able, in matters large and small, to act with such dignity, composure and unwavering focus as to appear as though he had absolutely nothing else to do. Hi there, I'm doing these short videos throughout 2021 in honour of the centenary of the passing of Abdul Baha, whose writings are the basis of my new album, Home of Light, which is coming out one song at a time throughout the year. All these short stories come from this book, Vignettes from the Life of Abdul Baha, by Anna Marie Honnold. And I hope these little anecdotes give us some glimpses into Abdul Baha's life during this special year. Also, if you'd like a copy of the album, since Home of Light has been made through the support of so many friends around the world, I've decided to give it away as a gift on behalf of everybody who helped to make it. So if you'd like to receive the album, you can sign up at my website, lukeslop.com. It's linked in the description below. And in November, prior to the centenary itself, you'll receive the album as a gift in celebration of Abdul Baha's life. So I appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like to hear the story behind the album, you can check out my podcast, A Story of Light, also linked in the description below.